So two down, so let's have a taste anyway. Talking too much. bunch of grapes. It's the biggest bunch in the Bordeaux family. Second to Shiraz. Right? So you're talking about a bunch of grapes that is sometimes in excess of 300 grams per bunch, whereas Pinot Noir would be 120, to give you an example. right? So you've got a much different physical size of, of a bunch that a vine has to ripen. But they're very vigorous, and within those berries, you get a lot of juice. right? You get a lot of liquid uh, as a ratio of skin and seed, so you've got a lot more, a lot less extraction potential. But if you, if those berries are concentrated and a little raisined in a warm year, you find that that increases, that intensity increases, or that extraction increases, and that's what we found. So we're getting good colour, great extraction, in a year that I think you know is going to age extremely well with this Merlot. And this is one that you know can be drunk now but it has the legs, like some Merlots don't, to go the distance. So Cabernet Franc from Clark Farm. Extremely intense on the nose. Not a hint of green at all there. It's very ripe plum. There's some savoury notes there. You've got some, uh, some really good secondary flavours. But very, very rich. You know? um, again, French oak dominant. Kiss of American oak behind it. <clears throat> and again, something you don't often see. But when you've got 25 bricks Cab Franc, which this one here, this one is, it was the highest sugar vineyard of any of our vineyards last year, this particular wine. It was over 25 bricks, as a matter of fact. So it's pushing 14% natural alcohol. Um, you, you're not getting any of those green characters that are in the seeds and the skins are gone. They're very, very ripe. You know, the leaf pulling, all these are netted, no birds are getting in. And they're just simply left to hang well into the end of October, which, which was two weeks early last year. This is one of the last things we picked, because they just hung on so well. And they raisined and they gave us such a different profile of Cab Franc I've never seen. So we decided to run with it. Is it herbal? Is it forest floor? Is it leafy? No, it's not. This was what the vintage gave us. So I guess in the context of showcase, that's what we wanted to showcase. I could have found something that was much more classic, perhaps even more Niagara. But I was like, wow, this, you know, this is such a departure from what we normally have that I wanted to run with it. <coughs> Tobacco, plum, leather, you know, there's, yeah, it's, it's an amazing little wine. And again, it's got the tannins to age, but, you know, it's a wine that's showing extremely well now. I mean, you could drink this wine tonight. I mean, it's very, very approachable right now. All right, well, let's move on to Cabernet Sauvignon. Let's see what you think about this one. Straight away, it's Cabernet Sauvignon. Immediate hit of tannins on the front of the palate. All the berries, much more extraction, um, dense, dense colour, right? And you're getting a wine that's chewy from the get go and built to go the distance. This is the granddaddy right here that. You know, I think it's going to well, you know, well live beyond uh, the other two. You know, is a has the backbone to do it. Um, it's these vines are a little bit older than the Merlot and the um, uh, Cab Franc, so they're planted in I think around 2000. So they're coming up to 11 years old now. Um, but with this particular patch, there's a lot of stone. There's a lot of mineral content. And there's swales of stone that go through this Clark Farm, which is so unique, much like Ghost Creek. Right? There's <clears throat> off the escarpment when the glacier went through it, it crushed and smushed, uh, smashed a lot of rock along the escarpment, and then uh, rivers washed it all down through and deposited it all through pockets of Niagara. And it's quite uh, chaotic as to where those deposits are. So it's really interesting soils that we've got here. And you really need to find them and, uh, and work with them. So I was just lucky that I walked into this. And we've got three blocks of Cabernet Sauvignon from Clark. 
planted right next to one another. Right, and we, we, we treat them all very separately. And this was the one, because it has a lot more stony soil in it, that seemed to come through. So it's, it's kind of unique that, uh, that we got those results. But um, yeah, one that's, you know, like I say, built to last and showing extremely well for 12 months in, or 10 months in. I mean, keep in mind these wines are very, very young as well. These are right from the barrel. So, you know, in the, in the concept of, uh, or context of futures, they're, uh, they're still evolving, but I really like the way they're heading. So, and these blends, these barrels have been identified. This is the actual blend that we're doing. Now it's a question of when do I bottle them. That's really the only decision I need to make.